Switzerland currently has five nuclear reactors which generate about 40% of the country's energy. Bets now 1 and 2 in northern Switzerland are the oldest, dating back to 1969. Before the nuclear accident in Japan, a third reactor was going to be built next to the two existing plants. But Energy Minister Doris Leuthardt has decided to suspend all requests to build replacement stations, at least until a new safety study is completed. We must analyze the risks and decide whether we want to continue with our plans or whether the risk for the population is too great. The study will be taken very seriously. The nuclear power plant Mühleberg near Bern has been producing energy since 1972. The people of Bern recently voted yes to the building of a new station to replace it. But the vote was non-binding and, more importantly, it was held before the accident in Japan. Guskin in Canton Solitun is the second largest nuclear station, and it could remain in operation until 2040. The replacement would have a new hybrid cooling tower because new regulations don't permit water cooling systems. After the alarming events in Japan, the Federal Energy Office has chosen to go back to the drawing board and reevaluate the situation. Switzerland will either go ahead with its support for nuclear energy, abandon its plans altogether, or find a compromise solution, building only one replacement plant while upping its investments in renewable energy. There are, however, old nuclear facilities still in operation just across the border in France and Germany. Fessenheim, one of the first French water reactors, is located only 120 kilometers from Basel in a region at high risk of earthquakes. Scientists reckon that in the case of a strong tremor, radiation from Fessenheim could travel up to 370 kilometers. Depending on the direction of the wind, this could impact all of Switzerland. Fessenheim is not earthquake-proof. At the time of construction, there were different norms. The earthquake risk was underestimated. Bouget in France, not far from Geneva. This nuclear plant isn't considered earthquake-proof even by its inspectors. The Swiss are very worried about it and are asking for this plant to be shut down, as well as the one in Fessenheim. In southern Germany, the Neckar-Westheim plant is being taken offline after the accident in Japan. In the past, it had to be shut down a few times for security reasons. Now, along with other old German installations, its days are numbered.